started in child's pose. Slide your hips back towards your heels so that the weight of your pelvis anchors to the back of your mat. Allow your forehead to rest down and your shoulders and arms to get heavy. And then deepen your breath. See just how slow and how full you can create your inhale and exhale. Do this a few times so you recognize the thoughtful effort that it takes. first moment of drawing the awareness inward and in an instant you lengthen you slow everything down now see if you can keep your breath full and long but allow the breath to guide the body deeper into this posture. So as you inhale and fill up and your spine lengthens, maybe your side waist lengthen, you create a little bit more space through the front part of your body. And as you slowly exhale, can you allow your body to soften with that exhale, relaxing at the upper spine and your shoulder blades, letting the weight of your forearms and your shins get a little heavier into the foundation. Take one more breath. On your next inhale, rise up into a tabletop position. And right away, begin to move through your cat cow, extending your spine and flexing your spine. And as you move, see if you can start to go from the macro, the whole spine, to the micro getting a sense that you can move one vertebra at a time. Come back to your cow pose and then pause here. Squeeze your forearms together so that the weight draws into the base knuckle of your thumb and your pointer finger. There's a hugging into the midline with the forearms. And then roll your triceps towards the back of your mat so your collarbones and chest broaden. Keep pausing and see if you can pull your collarbones through your upper arms as you squeeze your upper arms back. Exhale, round your spine into cat pose, pushing the earth away. Broaden your shoulder blades. Again, cow pose, big breath. Hold this one more time. Create the foundation of forearms in, shoulder blades rolling together. And then see if you can take your upper, upper inner thighs, squeeze in and spiral them back so much so that your hips, the front of your hip bones, draw deeper towards the back of your mats. Your low belly lengthens. Round your spine, take cat pose, relax the back of your neck. Neutral spine, stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Hug your shoulder blades together as you breathe in. With an exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left and sit back into child's pose. Crown onto your right shoulder and your right temple. Extend your left arm even farther forward. 
Slow down your breath in one moment. Allow your inhale to create space around the right shoulder blade, around your right side waist. As you exhale, maintain the space, but soften into it. On your next breath, lift up. Sweep your right arm towards the ceiling. Big inhale, open your chest. Exhale, place your right hand down on the ground, but turn your right fingertips toward your right thigh. If it doesn't make it all the way back, just turn as much as you can. Inhale, cow pose. Squeeze your right shoulder blade back. Exhale, round your spine into cat. Inhale, cow pose. Make space at the right side of your neck. Exhale, roll to cat. One more time. Breathe in, cow pose. Exhale, round cat. And come back to a neutral spine. Turn your right fingertips forward. Inhale, your left arm up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, open your chest, and then thread your left arm underneath you. Slide your hips back as you continue to reach through your left fingers, grounding your shoulder and your temple. Lengthen your right arm forward. And then in a moment, drop into your breath. thoughtful effort to create a length and fullness in your breath. The type of breath that slightly refines how you're holding the posture. On your next inhale, rise up to tabletop with your left arm towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale, place your left hand down and rotate left fingertips toward your left thigh. Breathe into cow pose. Exhale, roll to cat. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, roll to cat. Inhale, cow pose. Upper thighs rotate back, low belly lengthens. Exhale, cat. Come back to neutral spine and both hands turn forward. Extend your legs out to plank. Push the earth away so that your shoulders broaden away from your spine. Create strength up your legs and then slightly curl the front of your hips towards your lowest ribs until your low belly sucks in. Reach your heels back as far as you can while grounding the big toe ball mount. Shift your heels forward and slowly lower onto your knees, your stomach, and your chest. Hug your elbows in towards your side. Draw your shoulder blades down to curl your chest up into extension. Exhale, roll your spine down, let your head lift last. Inhale, curl up from the strength of your upper back. Keep the back of your neck long. And exhale, roll all the way down. One more time, breathe in. Squeeze your elbows and shoulder blades together. Reach your elbows towards your hips. Pause. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Can you lengthen your low back slightly? And then exhale, lower all the way down. Push yourself up to your knees. Downward facing dog. Keep length in your stance to encourage strength. Bend one knee at a time. As you do, open up the front of your ankle and flex the opposite ankle. Stretch your right leg straight up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your chest. Shift forward with a strong core. Place your right foot between your hands and drop your left knee slowly down. Reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. 
Wrap your inner thighs together to pull your tailbone slightly down so your low back is long. Lift through the pit of your belly and fingertips. And then plug your upper arm bones down into the socket so you feel space around the sides of the neck, strength at your upper back. Draw your upper arm bones back behind your ears. Take two more big breaths. Keep lifting your chest high and then curling your arms back. One more big breath, slight upper back bend. Exhale, release your hands down to the mat. Keep your left hand down, rotate your right arm all the way up. Lengthen through your upper back and the crown of your head. With a deep exhale twist from the pit of your belly and right between your shoulders. One more time, inhale, grow a little bit longer through the spine. Exhale, twist. Untwist your upper body. Ground your right hand straight in your right leg. Flex your right toes towards your face. Squeeze your right thigh bone back into the hip socket. Lengthen your arms and your chest forward. Engage your right quad to open up your left ham or your right hamstring even more. Two big breaths. Bend into your right knee, plant your palms, lift your left knee off of the mat. Strengthen your left leg and your arms as you round your spine. Use your belly to step your right foot up and back to downward facing dog. Move your hips, paddle push your heels. Inhale your left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Curl your knee in towards your chest and imagine touching your thigh up towards your stomach and your chest so your spine flexes more, your core engages a little bit more. Push the earth away, place your left foot between your hands. Drop your right knee down. Sweep your arms up, low lunge. Spiral your inner thighs together, upper, upper inner thighs together so much that your pelvis lifts and levels. So that would be your right hip moves forward, your left hip drags back. And then draw your upper arm bones, integrate them into the sockets. Squeeze your upper arm bones back as you create a slight upper back bend. Keep the back of your neck long and your breath full. One more inhale. Exhale, lower your hands to the mat. Right hand stays down. Left arm reaches all the way up, twist. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, draw your left shoulder blade to spine to twist. One more, lengthen through the back and crown of your head. Exhale, twist from deep in your belly. Both hands come down, half split, straighten out your left leg. Flex your left toes towards your face. Strengthen up the flexion through your left side waist. So that means left quad and left side of your core, like your obliques. And as you deepen into that flexion, even the hip flexors deep in the hip socket engage, can you lengthen the back body, left hamstring, the back of your spine, your upper back. One more big breath, squeeze to fold a little bit deeper. Bend into your left knee, ground your palms, lift your right knee, round your back as you drop your head, right quad strong, suck your left foot straight up off the mat, send it back to downward facing dog. Push the earth away with strong hands, but roll your shoulders away from your ears. Lift your heels high. Tiptoe your feet up towards your hands. As you do, keep lifting your quads. Draw your thigh bones deep into the hip sockets. Push the earth away with your hands. Get as close to your hands as you can and then drop your heels all the way down. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Lift your kneecaps, squeeze your quads as you take a deep forward fold and then bring your forearms behind your calves. Hands at your Achilles. Now squeeze your legs forward, your shins forward, so much so that the weight equals from your heels to your toes. Stay strong right at the connection where your thighs meet your belly, quad strong, core strong. And then pull your chest towards your shins as your shins draw towards your chest. Deepen the fold with strength. Can you tilt your sit bones up a little bit higher as you ground your heels down? Lengthen through your low back, melt through your upper back, shoulders away from your ears. One more breath. Release your hands. Soften your knees, pull your belly in and roll up for three. Curl up for two. Big breath in, stretch your arms up towards the ceiling, root from your hips to your feet to the floor. Arms up, arms back. Full breath. Exhale, bring your hands together at your heart. Inhale, reach up, mountain pose. With an exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Plant your palms, step back to high plank. Shift forward, exhale, low plank. Upward facing dog, curl your chest up, shoulders draw down. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Big breath out. Slow down your inhale. Be patient as you take a long exhale. Step your feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward folds. Mountain pose, rise tall and strong. Pull your arms back. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Step back to high plank. Shift your heels forward, low plank. Upward facing dog, rotate your upper arm bones back. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Check in with the breath. Fill out the breath. Step your feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain rise. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga Dandasana as you breathe out. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take one breath in. Exhale, look forward, step or hop to your hands. Halfway lift. Forward folds. Mountain pose, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Exhale, look forward, step or hop there. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, rise. Bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. Notice the rhythm of the breath and the heart, the excitement, the energy that's built up. And then in a moment, can you slow your breath down? Both the inhale and your exhale. Take one more time, slow down your breath in. Lengthen your breath out. Open your eyes, reach up. Sit down low, chair pose. Plug your upper arm bones down into the sockets and then see if you can squeeze your upper arm bones closer to surrounding your ears. Keep reaching your tailbone back so the weight's in your heels and then bring your chest parallel to the floor. Stretch your fingers and your tailbone away from one another. Lengthen the back of your neck. 
Reach your arms out to a T if you don't have space. Cactus arms with bent elbows. Squeeze again, shoulder blades to spine. Extend your arms straight back towards the back of your mats. Reach so far back that your shoulders plug away from your ears and then interlace your fingers behind your back. Knuckles lengthen, back of your neck lengthens. Dive forward over straight legs, let your head drop. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling as you wrap your shoulder blades to your spine. Reach the crown of your head down. Take one more breath, knuckles higher. Release your hands, bend your knees, chair pose. Inhale, reach your chest up and back, slide upper back bend. Exhale, forward folds. Halfway lift and lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana as you exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reach your right leg up towards the ceiling as you breathe in. Exhale, use your core to draw knee to chest. Step forward. Crescent warrior, rise up. Reach your arms up all the way back with a slight upper back bend. Place your hands down on the ground and step right to downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg reaches to the ceiling. Step your left foot between your hands. Crescent warrior, rise up tall, lift up through your fingers and then pull your heart up towards the ceiling. Place your hands down on the ground, step back to downward facing dog. Take one breath in. Exhale, look forward, step or hop to your hands. Lift and lengthen. Forward fold. Sit low, chair pose, reach your arms up and back, chest open. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Breathe in, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, crescent warrior, rise, go up, go back. Exhale, hands to the ground, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, step between your hands, crescent, rise tall, pull your arms up and back. Exhale, bring your hands to the ground, downward facing dog. Take one breath in. Exhale, look forward, step or hop to your hands, halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, sit low, arms up. Rise all the way up to stand, bring your hands together at your heart. Close your eyes. Notice the temperature of the body. Notice the buzzing and tingling of energy, excitement. And then notice your breath and in an instant, can you fill out your breath and slow everything down? Try it one more time. Awareness inward, full, long breath. Empty slowly as well. Open your eyes. Arms up, mountain pose. Sit back and down into chair. Full breath in. Forward fold as you breathe out. Lift halfway up, pause here. Step your left foot back, bend your right knee, crescent warrior, rise all the way up. Interlace your fingers behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades toward your spine and then reach your knuckles down your back as you curl your chest up. Feel your shoulder blades hug in towards your spine and push your heart forward. Keep the back of your neck long, breathe up to your collarbone. Hinge forward, airplane pose, lift your left leg. Keep the strength through your triceps, through your upper back so that your heart stays open, chest open. Push through your right foot and your left foot equally. Breathe in. Bend your right knee, float back to crescent. Reach your arms all the way up as you inhale. Exhale, place your left hand down on the ground and twist your right arm up towards the ceiling. Lengthen your spine. Lengthen through the back of your head. 
twist deep through your belly and your core. Roll to the pinky edge side of your left foot. Step back to side plank. And then flex all ten toes towards your shins. Push the earth away with your left hand and obliques. Curl your right heel towards your right glutes. Engage your hamstring. Engage your glute to push your right hip open. And then touch your right toes down behind you. Rotate your hips and your heart open towards the ceiling. Stay strong with your left palm, left tricep. Open up your chest. Big breath in. Look down. Unflip to one-legged plank. Your right stays lift, right leg lifted. Engage your core. One-legged low plank. Upward facing dog. Shoulder blades to spine. Chest open. Downward facing dog. Breathe out. Slow down the breath. Look forward, step or hop to your hands. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Utkatasana, chair pose. Uttanasana, forward fold. Halfway lift. Extend your right leg straight back. Bend your left knee and touch your right toes down. Crescent warrior, rise up. Interlace your fingers at your low back. See if you can keep or create the opposite grip. Opposite point your finger in front. Squeeze your palms and triceps together. Lengthen the back of your neck. Full breath as you drag your knuckles down. Lift your sternum up. Hinge forward. Airplane pose. Find foundation in the strength of your upper back. In the opening of your upper spine, lift your heart higher and your right heel higher. Bend into your left knee. Float back, crescent, arms up, inhale. Place your right hand down on the ground and twist your left arm, left ribs to the ceiling. Breathe and lengthen. Breathe out belly and ribs to spine. Get a little longer as you inhale. Exhale, roll to the pinky edge side of your right foot, side plank. Stack your legs. Hold. Ground into the pinky edge side of your right foot and lift from your right obliques. Then curl your left heel towards your left glute behind you. Squeeze as close as you can until you feel the hamstring engage and then flip. Toes touch down. Rotate your shoulders away from your ears, that's it, and then open your chest and drop your head. Breathe in, look down, unflip, one-legged plank, one-legged low plank, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog as you exhale. Take a deep breath. Stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling. Curl your right knee towards your chest. Round your spine. Flex your spine. Get even rounder forehead to knee. Place your foot between your hands. Drop your left knee down to the mat. See if you can create more of a short stance instead of going into your longest stance. Bring your hands up to your right knee. Lift your chest as you draw your shoulders down. Squeeze your left heel towards your left glute. Bring your left arm up, around, and behind you. Grab onto your left foot. And then curl your heel in towards your glute as you pull your hips back towards your heel. If you can stay balanced here, then stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling and pull it back, almost as if your right hand was going to go and grab your left foot. Take two more big breaths. Squeeze your left heel a little closer. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. One more breath. Release your left foot. Windmill your hands down to the mat. Step back to down dog. Left leg lifts. Knee to chest, flex your spine, strengthen up your core. 
and step forward, drop your right knee down. Again, a shorter stance, hands to your left knee. Stretch your right arm all the way up to encourage length through your spine. Curl your right heel towards your glutes. Reach back, grab your foot, pull your heel in, squeeze your right glutes, squeeze your right hamstring. The more engagement, the less you'll feel that pressure on your right knee. Lift up through the pit of your belly as you lift your left arm. Plug your left upper arm bone down and pull it back to keep your chest parallel to the front of your mat. Two more breaths, go a little bit taller, maybe even get the sense of a slight upper back bend. Slowly release, hands down to the mat, step back, downward facing. Take a breath in and a full breath out. Look forward, shift forward, high plank. Come down onto your forearms, gang plank. Push the earth away so your shoulder blades spread and your upper spine flexes. Notice what that feels like when your upper spine is flexing, shoulder blades broad. In this posture, your core should be strong, so front ribs to back ribs, back ribs lifting towards the ceiling. Take another breath and then slowly lower your hips, curl your collarbones up towards the ceiling and squeeze your elbows and forearms back. See if you can create a sense of rotating the upper arm bones away from the midline, right away from your sternum and draw your shoulder blades even closer together at your back. Slightly tuck your chin and lengthen through the back of the neck and the base of the skull. And then tuck your chin towards your chest, tuck your toes, lift your hips and round your upper back away from the ground. Lift up to gangplank. Get even more rounded as you push down through the elbows and forearms, shoulder blades spread, upper spine in flexion. Slowly lower your hips, curl up, upper spine in extension. Breathe. Notice the work of extension, right? It should be work. If not, then you're just collapsing into the low back to create the pose. But this action of extension needs the muscular support. Shoulder blades squeeze in towards your spine. Pit of the belly pulls up to lengthen your low spine. And then exhale, release your chest all the way down. Move your elbows out of the way. Stretch your arms back. Straight back behind you, palms flat on the ground, toenails down, forehead down. Even at your shoulders for a moment, just roll forward. Slow down your breath. Again, that, that moment of shift and awareness from the reaction of the postures. The natural reaction of spine opening of the work and the challenge call it energy call it stress call it excitement really see if you can take the analyzation out of it and just notice the physical sensation and then create a shift with one more breath in one moment can you slow down the heart rate can you fill out the breath Push your forehead gently down into the mat till you feel the back of your neck is strong. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, drawing the heads of your shoulders away from the mat. Float your hands up off of the mat. Again, notice the strength in the back of your neck matches the strength in your upper back. Pull your forehead straight up off the mat. Try not to overextend your throat. Lift your toes up. Point through the toes until your knees straighten all the way. Strengthen through the glutes and the muscles that surround the spine. Squeeze shoulder blades in towards one another. Then reach your arms either to cactus arms if you don't have the space or out to a T if you do have the space. Extend your arms straight forward. Imagine someone's pulling your hands. Get a little bit longer as you lift into extension. Take one more big breath. 
Exhale, release your hands all the way down by your sides, elbows to the ceiling, forehead to the ground. Curl up to upward facing dog. Big breath. Downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up towards the ceiling. Draw your knee in towards your nose. Step your right foot forward. Crescent warrior. Arms reach up. Stretch your arms in front of you. Bring your left elbow under your right elbow. Eagle arms. If you can't bring your palms together, maybe bring the back of your hands together or grab your shoulders. Now lift your elbows up as you drag your shoulders away from your ears. Slide up or back bend. Can you feel the tips of your shoulder blades pushing your heart forward? Tilt your chest forward parallel to the floor. Lift your left leg up and around your right full eagle. Bend your right knee. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Curl your tailbone back so you have the natural curve of your lumbar spine. Draw your ribs in, your belly in, and round your elbows towards your knees. Nest your eagle. Get even more round as you spread the shoulder blades wide. Take one more breath. Lift your elbows. Lengthen your spine. Curl your left knee all the way up towards your elbows as you push your right foot down. Unravel to dancer. Grab your left foot behind you. And then open up into dancer. Try and keep your hips and your chest parallel to the front of your mats. Squeeze your right upper arm bone and shoulder blade towards your spine. Create an upper back bend. If you can hold the balance and the grip, bend your right knee. Lower your right hand down to the floor. Half moon or bound half moon. Can you push your right foot down as you tilt your left hip on top of your right? Rotate your left shoulder on top of your right. Maintain a strong grip of kicking into your hand, but your hand pulling into your foot. Can you open your chest a little more? Lengthen your breath. Extend your arm and your leg if you have the bind half moon. Bend your right knee, float back warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Big breath. Bend deeper into your right knee. Create a deeper crease at the right hip. Straighten out your right leg. Shift your upper body forward. Trikonasana, right hand down to the outside of your right foot. Left arm up towards the ceiling. And then bring your right hand like a foot away from your right foot, as far to the outside of your mat as you can. Can you tuck your hips under, stretch your left arm over your head. So again, you're introducing that slight upper back bend. Full breath in. Exhale, untwist, turn your upper body to the left along with your right toes, toes in, heels out. Stretch your arms forward as you bend your knees. Keep your hands shoulder distance. Reach your sit bones back and see if you can melt right between your shoulder blades. Allow your forehead to drop heavy. Again, your heels to your sit bones are reaching towards the back of your mat now. And your hands are lengthening forward, your upper back melting forward and down. Slow down your breath in a moment. Slide your hands back underneath you, halfway lift. Turn your upper body towards the top of your mat. Rotate all 10 toes towards the top of your mat. Pause there, lift your left heel. Flex your right toes towards your face. Rotate your inner thighs together and fold over your right leg. If that's not comfortable on your right heel, just keep your right foot flat. Stretch your arms farther forward and think of drawing your right thigh bone up into the hip socket. Left leg stays strong. Soften your upper back a little bit more. Now ground your right foot and your left heel while keeping your pelvis neutral. Twist your right hand up towards the ceiling. Draw your outer right hip towards the back of your mat and lengthen your chest forward. One more big breath to twist. 
untwist your upper body, lift your left leg, standing split. Fold over your right leg. Hold for three breaths and lengthen your spine or plant your palms and take your handstand. And one more breath. Left toes land to the back of your mat. Step right back to downward facing dog. Pedal push your heels, move your hips. Inhale, your left leg sweeps up towards the ceiling. Use the strength of your core to round your spine, knee to chest. Step forward, crescent, rise. Stretch your arms forward, right elbow under left elbow, eagle arms. Use the side body to draw your shoulder blades down away from your ears. That will support you in lifting your chest up first and then maybe back. Bend your left knee, center of gravity low to help you balance. Pull your belly ribs in as you hinge your chest forward. Lift off to full eagle, right leg wraps around your left. Tall spine, shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders. Then round your spine, drag your elbows, your chin in. Curl down, belly in. Elbows to knee, broaden the shoulder blades. Squeeze in from the strength of your core. Lift yourself all the way up, tall spine. Lift your right knee towards your elbows. Push through your left foot. Unravel to dancer pose. Grab your right foot behind you. Feel the opening in the whole front body across your hips, across your belly, and then across your chest. Big inhale. Bend your left knee. Slowly make your way down into bound half moon. So if you bend your left knee deep enough, you can be arms distance away. If you have a block under your left hand or for your left hand, that makes it a little bit more possible, <laughs> less challenging. Rotate, rotate to your right shoulder, right hip on top of your left. Kick into your hand and reach your collarbones towards the top of the mat. Take a couple deep breaths here. Keep squeezing your left hip under, under from the strength of your left glute. Half moon, extend your arm and your leg. Stay active through fingers and toes. Bend your left knee, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Lengthen your stance. Bend your left knee a little bit deeper. Push off the left big toe ball mound to straighten your left leg. Reach forward. Triangle pose. Left hand down, right arm up. Again, that block can come in handy here, bringing the floor up to you. And then take your left hand back away from your left foot. From there, can you scoop your tailbone under and rotate your chest up towards the ceiling? One more deep breath. Unravel your upper, upper body. You're going to go right into a wide legs forward fold so rotate to the right left toes in forward fold your upper body take five breaths here to deepen your folds or if you want to come into an inversion tripod headstand or straddle handstand do so lengthen right between your shoulder blades Lengthen through the back of your neck and the crown of your head. Slow down your breath. Take one more breath. With an inhale, lift halfway up. Turn your upper body and all 10 toes towards the top of your mat. Long pyramid pose. Lift your right heel high and squeeze your right knee cap up. Stretch your left toes toward your face and then pull your left heel back and your right toes forward. Strengthen up your legs to deep into the hip socket and pelvic floor. Stretch your arms forward and lengthen your spine. 
Take one more deep breath as you continue to lift your left thigh bone up into the hips, pelvis level, left side waist lengthens. Maintain neutral hips as you lower your left foot and your right heel. Rotate your left hand up towards the ceiling. Lengthen out your left side waist. Lengthen through the back of your neck. Twist deep from the belly and your upper spine. Place both hands on the ground, standing split, right leg lifts. Three breaths. Land back in a low lunge, downward facing dog, step both feet back. Shift forward into high plank. Slowly lower all the way down to your stomach. Extend your right arm out to the right. Bend your elbow to 90 degrees. So your elbow is in line with your shoulder. Your wrist is in line with your elbow. Roll over your right shoulder. Good, so it'll be like a cactus arm. I'll do it on my left side if you guys need to see. Open up your chest. Slow down your breath in a moment. Slowly roll on to your stomach and your chest and switch sides. Right arm comes out to the, or left arm actually, reaches out to a cactus arm, roll over your shoulder. Roll on to your stomach and your chest. Bend both knees, reach back and grab onto your ankles. If you can only grab one foot, that's okay. Keep the other leg extended and other arm extended. So that's a half bow. Kick back, lift your chest. Good, flex your feet. Feel the work of the back body, the muscles that run along your spine to help it extend. Drag your shoulders away from your ears, lengthen the back of the neck. Pull the bridge of your nose back so the back of your neck is long as well. Take another big breath, lift higher. Exhale, release all the way down. Soften your shoulders, windshield wiper your feet. Full breath. If you did one-legged bow, then you're gonna switch to the other leg. If you did full bow, you get to practice twice. Grab onto your ankles or your feet. Spiral your inner thighs together, kick back and lift. Breathe. Back bend, super stimulating and exciting for the nervous system. Feel the energy run through your spine, open your chest. Exhale, lower all the way down. Keep your knees bent, windshield wiper your feet or maybe create like circles with your feet. Drop your feet, plant your palms, push yourself up to your knees. Downward facing dog, reach your hips up and back. Separate your hands wide and bring your toes together at the back of your mat. Look forward, bend your knees, full breath. Hop through to your seat. Good. Plant your feet flat, flat on the mat. Knees point towards the ceiling and slowly roll back for five. Tuck your tailbone, get really flexed through your spine like you're scooping out the front body. Three, two, and drop all the way down. Bring your ankles right underneath your knees. Walk your shoulder blades together and curl up into a bridge. Push down through your triceps. Push down through the shoulder blades, but stay soft at the back of your head so you're not drilling your head into the floor. Now, can you lift your chest a little bit higher? Keep your chest lifted and open. Spiral without moving your thigh bones. Just spiral the inner thighs, the muscles of the inner thighs, so much towards one another that your pubic bone starts to reach down towards the floor your tailbone starts to curl down towards the floor. So 
In essence, your whole pelvis is dropping down, but your heart is lifting a little higher. Can you keep your tailbone, reach it all the way down to the mat, but chest stays lifted, puff up a little bit more as you hug your shoulder blades to your spine. Good, now keep your heart and chest lifted and arced away from the mats, ground through the feet, and lift and lengthen your tailbone forward and up like your tailbone is reaching towards the back of your knees. Come into that bridge pose again. Good. Stay leading and height with your chest. Full breath in. Lower the hips, but keep your chest lifted. Upper back open. Chest open. So you're maintaining the extension through your thoracic spine. Lower your tailbone. Lift your chest a little higher. Last time here, chest stays higher than your hips the whole time as you curl your hips back up. Think of tucking your tailbone towards the back of your knees. Breathe. Stay in your bridge. Or I encourage you, as you've warmed up your spine, you've warmed up the upper back enough, I encourage you to try on a wheel. Flip your hands right by your ears. Hug your elbows in, your shoulder blades in, and then lift up. Rise. Five. Push the earth away with strong palms and strong feet. Four. Breathe into your chest, opening three. Allow the energy to go through the body as it may start to tremble. Take one more big breath. And then exhale, slowly lower all the way down back of your head. Roll down through the spine, soles of your feet together, knees wide. Place a hand on your heart and a hand on your stomach. And so here we are yet again with this familiar sensation. Notice the sensation. Heart rate is rapid, the breath may be short. The body is buzzing with energy. Your mind may label it stress or excitement. Both have the same physiological response. And as you've practiced this whole class, can you in one moment of true awareness, slow down your breath and notice that just underneath all of that energy just within the reach of a breath is ease is peace create that for yourself now and notice that the awareness is there it creates that first lengthening inhale and then stay in the discipline to create a repetition of breath Every breath a little bit slower than the last. Do it a few more times until you feel yourself settle into that grounding space where every muscle in your face softens. Your body relaxes and gets heavy, grounding you into the moment and into the floor. Maintain this full, slow breath as you draw your knees together. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Figure four, grab onto your left hamstring. As you hug your left knee in, rotate your right knee away from you. Keep the back of your neck long. Lift your left ankle in line with your left knee. Maintain the figure four as you release your hands. Let this whole figure four tilt over to the left until the sole of your right foot and your outer left knee touch down. Then take your left hand and push the inside of your right knee away from you. 
Relax your outer right hip and right glute as you open it up. Stretch your right arm either back behind your head or out to a T. And then soften, soften through the mid body as it twists. Lengthen your breath. You know how to now. Now is just that discipline of repetition. Untwist through center. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh, figure four. Grab your right hamstring. Push your left knee away from you. Lift your right ankle in line with your right knee. Release your hands as you maintain the figure four. Drop your legs over to the right. Stretch your left arm to the left and push your left knee away from you to open your left hip. Untwist through center, both knees to your chest, rock side to side. Roll to the right, push yourself up to a seat. Come into a comfortable seat, chin to your chest, roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Roll your left ear to your left shoulder. Lift your head up through center. Take a big breath. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Get a little bit taller through your spine. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Close your eyes. Slow down your breath. And in so acknowledging and recognizing your practice. And trust that your practice can always be with you. You can take it off of your mats. Whenever you feel those moments of heart rates, rapid breath, shorts, energy overwhelming the body, it's right there. It's in lengthening your inhale and slowing down your exhale that you can drop underneath all of that energy into the peace and ease that exists within in each one of us. Bring hands from your heart to your forehead center, honoring this space and one another, namaste.